I have a major problem with YouTube. Ever since they removed the dislike button over a year ago, the website has gotten drastically worse. Okay, now that Susan Wojcicki's gone, let's talk about how much copyright sucks on this website. Every single creator you know has dealt with a false copyright claim, claim at some point in their career. Between the months of January and June 2020. Do you know what this is? That's my ring. Okay, so anytime this talk about the way I dress or anything like that, remember that he's currently wearing my ring. Okay, just remember that. 21, there was over 2.2 million false copyright claims. Thief wig. YouTube knows how bad the problem is. They even decided to fix it, but just for YouTube shorts. They now take 10% of all the money made from YouTube shorts, whether it has copyright and stuff or not, to pay off big record labels so that they don't go for individual creators anymore. However, long form creators don't get that right and live streamers have it even worse. I decided to test just how bad it was for live streamers by doing a little bit of a speed run. The speed run is simple. You play copyrighted music and you wait for the content overlords to detect your nefarious acts and see how quickly they strike you down. Hold up, I have a good idea. I got the world record for the fastest ban on YouTube. It took 90 seconds. Now look, <laughs> I understand people protecting their copyright and works and trying to profit off of the fruits of their labor. However, there's a huge category of music, classical music, that should be in the public domain. However, the recordings of them are not. So I have a solution. So I learned how to play piano just so I could give them to the masses for free. Are you fucking kidding me? That sucked dick. Why don't you stick to English, motherfucker? Oh, that's my mom. What's up, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Against all odds, it's me and Schlatt who are trying to fix this problem. We've decided to hire some of the greatest musicians in America to record some of the greatest classical songs of all time. In all of these- By the way, this is why this bailed on my, uh, what was it? When, oh, this is why he bailed on the, I think you laugh, you lose the first time around. Because he was doing this shit. These recordings are in the public domain. Which is an incredible idea. I mean, respect. Maybe you don't like classical music. Well, check out what else we did. Hey, YouTubers, you know what you guys like? Stealing songs from Nintendo. So we made a Nintendo-like song. Totally copyright free now. Shots love it. Or maybe an Animal Crossing. Bro, he put J. Schlatt in this specifically, I feel like, because J. Schlatt in the title means YouTube views. Like he literally just put Jay Schlatt in there for that reason. Like songs more your speed. You know something? That's my shit. That's my shit. Do one of your classic sh Schlatt intros. How's it going boys? My name is Schlatt and today I'm reacting to some more TikToks. Because that's all you want to see me do anymore. <laughs> Every single video project I put my heart and soul into gets half the fucking views of me sitting on my two TikToks. <laughs> Chat, Schlatt is sponsoring it? Okay. Respect. Uh, and they're all available right now on London Schlatt's Musical Emporium. We got it all, baby. They are free for anyone to use. All you need to do is just credit our name. I have to give a big shout out to Philip Millman, who is the director and conductor. Oh my God, I thought this was Ludwig at first. From behind, I literally thought it was Ludwig. Oh my God, I was like, this is composing himself too? Like, you couldn't get the actual composer in it? Like, this shot over here? I just straight up was like, wow. I was about to rip into him and be like, he's acting like he's composing or conducting the songs. Not composing, sorry. Conducting the songs himself. To record classic 
This is awesome. This is awesome. This is so good. Uh, and they're all available right now on Mud and Schlatt's Musical Emporium. Emporium. We got it all, baby. They are free for anyone to use. All you need to do is just credit our name. I have to give a big shout out to Philip Millman, who is the director and conductor who made this all happen. And I also have to let you guys know that hiring some of the greatest musicians in the world isn't exactly cheap. So do me a big favor and go right now and subscribe to that channel. Go. Go right now. If not for me, for Schlatt. If not for Schlatt, then for the Queen. And look, if you guys really love the channel, we'll try to add more songs as soon as possible. Anyway, that's all, boys. Thanks for watching. YouTube, you gotta start fixing your own problems because it's getting real expensive when we fix them for you. All right, see you later, boys. Goodbye. Subscribe to the channel, please. Cause Why didn't... It's cost so much money. He was so Why didn't YouTube do this, actually? Why didn't YouTube just do this? Now that I think about it, like... That's so dumb. I mean, they have like a copyright free library, but why didn't it feature some of the classic, like classical music compositions? Lin, though, he was so good. So I, he deserves the money, but. This is great. This is a great idea. To be honest, why hasn't anyone done this? I know. They aren't real moguls because doing the bare minimum is the play, baby.